Hey guys, so I'm gonna share a new recipe I have not tried, but I watched a video, so I should be able to do this. <laughs> so Bon Appetit, if you haven't, or if you like cooking videos like me, Bon Appetit has a YouTube channel. It is like one of my favorite channels on YouTube. They do like so many different types of videos and they're so much fun. Um, I just watched a video and I don't know her name, I'm just really bad at names, but she did an instant pot. I think it's called um, Coco Van, Coco Van, Coco Van. I don't even know. I think this was one of Julia Child's um, recipes. Now, watching it, like I've got kind of, I guess, clickbaited because I was like, oh, doing it all in the instant pot. You could do it in the instant pot every bit of it, but she explains why you don't want to. So. You're really, instead of doing it in the oven, like a normal recipe for this recipe, or putting in your crock pot, it just cuts down the cook time, or it's normally like you cook it for a couple hours in the instant, or in your crock pot or the oven. For this, you just do it in your instant pot after you prepare everything into a pan. You put it in here, let it go for like, I think they said 15 minutes, and then it's ready. Normally it takes hours. So, this is, kind of an instant pot recipe if you want to be technical but i'm excited i'm excited to try it so i'm just going to go over the ingredients that you need you're going to need some chicken leg quarters um this is skin on you'll need some bacon four shallots four tablespoons of butter a, a handful of carrots not all of these but a handful of carrots thyme parsley i have just dried parsley but i might not use as much as they um call for. They asked for shiitake. The two stores that I shop at do not sell shiitake. So I got Baby Bella's. They're, you know, I enjoy them. So I just went ahead and got those. Garlic, salt, pepper, um, white wine, and white wine vinegar. Now from reading the comments and things in the video and on the website or the recipe link, people are saying this is not like the original recipe that Julia Child put out. Hers has like red wine. But if you watch the video from Bon Appetit, she said that she was testing it out and she kind of just tweaked it a little bit and felt that the white wine and then the white wine vinegar changed it up a little bit and made it taste like amazing. So I'm super excited to try it. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my, cut my bacon into like little um, slices and then I'm going to saute that up in a pan and we'll take that out, put my chicken in, and then we'll just, you know, go through the whole process. Okay, I already failed. <laughs> I watched this the other day and then I didn't read the actual like instructions, but they do suggest um, marinating the chicken like 40, up to 48 hours ahead of time. But she did say in the video that you do not have to do that. So I'm gonna do it while I'm prepping everything. So what you do is you put your chicken, the white wine, and the thyme into a Ziploc bag. You season the chicken, put it all in here, and then let it sit. Just kind of, you know, let it marinate for while you're fixing everything. So I'm gonna get that ready to go. So all my prep is done, which makes things so much easier and faster. So I have my pan ready to go and it's cold. She suggests putting the bacon in the cold pan. So I'm going to put this in and then I will get the bacon going. We'll take the bacon out. It's going to kind of go fast from here. You do the bacon, the veg, 
I think she does the veggies and then she does the chicken, which she does the chicken for a couple minutes just to kind of get that nice sear. So the chicken will take the longest. So I'm gonna get everything going and then we'll have dinner in like 45 minutes maybe. So I got all of my chicken done. I didn't have that much bacon fat, so I did add, when I added the butter, I did add some olive oil, just so I had a little bit more fat in there. But what I'm doing now is making the sauce that's gonna go into the pan. So I added the white wine vinegar, and then I have that going, and then I've got the um, reserve stock that you, or the reserved wine that was in the bag that you um, marinated in. So I poured that in and then you put the rest of the time that you had into the pan. You're going to let this reduce and then you'll pour this over and then you'll have your vegetables. And you're going to saute those once this is done. I might have done this backwards, but you know what? It's okay. <laughs> I might not have, but you know what? It's a in-depth, you know, recipe and I've never done it before so it's just like exciting to try something different and new so once this comes up to a boil and reduces because you'll see it right there will be a different color like it will start to change colors on the edge um, but then we're going to start layering everything into the instant pot and going along with it okay so now that I've reread the recipe <laughs> so I I kind of went ahead of myself. So you're supposed to do this last. You're supposed to saute the shallots, garlic, and the um, carrots. But I, you know, skip that part. You live and you learn. It's still gonna be good. It won't be messed up. But so I'm gonna. I just cooked the sauce. So I'm gonna reheat this pan. And I, since we already reserved. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Since we already reserved the fat from the bacon, the butter, the chicken, we're just gonna add like a tablespoon. That's what they, and that's the same thing that they did in the actual recipe. Is that when they drained it off, they put back a tablespoon. I'm gonna take this little piece out so it doesn't get burned. Now that the pan is heating up, I'm gonna add in a little bit more. So my pan's a little bit bigger than hers was. And you don't want to soften the veggies or anything. You just want to just kind of get them some color. So I'm going to put them like cut side down. I'm going to add some salt and pepper in here. And then I'm going to let this go. And then I'm going to start layering it all into my Easter pot. Excuse my kids, they're playing Uno. So we're going to let this go for a few minutes. All right, so we're going to layer this up. So they do the mushrooms first. Then the chicken, and they said, you know, the chicken is not going to, you know, do like a full layer, so you are going to have to layer. Woo. <laughs> you would think I have never cooked a day in my life. All right, so I'm just rotating it around. Excuse my kids, they're playing grace. All right, and I'm going to take any juices that came out of the chicken, just pour that right here. Okay, and then we're gonna do about half the bacon. As I said, you wanna sprinkle some on top. And then we're gonna do our vegetables. Like this just, ooh, this sauce smells amazing. Mm. That goes right on top. All right, so now, 
just gonna put this in my Instapot. I gotta find my lid. Here we go. Okay. Right. And we're gonna do sealed 15 minutes. Fifteen minutes, and you're gonna let it um, sit. Once it beeps, you're gonna let it sit and keep warm for ten minutes, and then you'll release the pressure. And while that's going, I'm gonna clean this up, and then I'm gonna make. Um, there's the leftover two tablespoons of butter, so you're gonna mix that with some flour. So you'll take everything out, heat up the bottom, the sauce that's in the bottom, add the flour mixture to kind of thicken up and make a really rich sauce. last minute to throw in a can of potatoes because I kind of didn't think about like I didn't do enough carrots so if you did I think I did three or four large carrots do more because that actually isn't that much um, and you kind of need something to go with it and I really think about that so I probably would have done some like green beans like or something I'm not sure but I just threw some potatoes in there so we could have a little bit of extra so I'm gonna actually cut this to keep warm since it's already thickened so the potatoes can um, warm up. They're just from a can, they're nothing special. Um, I added the parsley in there, you can see a little bit of the green. I've got it on my tray, so once that goes for about a couple minutes, I'll pour the sauce on it and then I'll sprinkle it with bacon. And then we can eat. Um, you guys, I think this is like the prettiest thing I have ever made. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. That sauce is so rich. But the, the potatoes, I actually think the potatoes are a good idea. Kind of covers up like a little gravy over them. Sprinkle the bacon on it. I got a little bit more parsley. Oh my god, I'm so excited to try this. Here's my perfect little bite. I just don't have potato on here, but that's not part of the original recipe. Mm. That is good. Highly suggest doing it. Chicken is cooked. The mushrooms are great. The onions, the carrots, like bacon. The bacon is great with it. 15 thumbs up. <laughs> so if you're adventurous like me, like to try new things, this did take time. It does take a lot more time when you're trying a new recipe because you're trying to make sure you're doing things right. But definitely get out of your comfort zone. If you work like a regular job, I wouldn't do this on a weeknight because it takes a little bit of time kind of getting into the flow of things. Maybe like a Saturday or Sunday for after church or something. But it's delicious. Do it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye, guys.